if, um, let me know if maybe there's something that I missed that I could add to this presentation for next time. Um, Cause I know that you've used it before. I remember you talking about it at the um, all staff. So I remember you saying that you have used it before and you've presented on it and you are talking about your upcoming presentation. So I've been really looking forward to this. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I actually use it a lot. Um, we've been doing monthly games with the IGA coordinators and we use Book It for those monthly games and they really enjoy it. It's so fun, even for like adults. It's, it's and I like so that fun. it's kind of easy to navigate. And we do a different game every time, so it's not boring. Um, so I choose Book It. It's built for classrooms. Um, to play Book It, a teacher hosts a question set with a unique game mode on their screen or projector, and students join in to compete on their own devices. So it's super user friendly, making the pictures making the titles, the descriptions, um, everything is just there. You don't have to go anywhere to click. You don't have to search for anything. It's just all there. You just pick what you want and move on. And then it's super fun, easy to use, and it's relatable to the kids um, or to whoever you're presenting to. So here's just some examples. Um, of ones you can use and ones that other people have made. So these are public and it shows how many people have used them. Um, I actually made this a year and a half ago and I've just been updating it. So these numbers are wrong, <laughs> um, but these were the most popular ones at the time. So I just pulled them. So you can use it from any device, your phone, your tablet, your computer, which is really cool. Um, we've used it at, at an all staff before where everyone logged in on their phones um, and then everyone could just watch on the big screen and, you know, that's 80, 90 people. So it's super, super um, user friendly for any group size. They have fun and new themes. Um, they just had a Christmas theme that we used and that was super cute. And they're all temporary, um, but they're super fun. So these were the Halloween ones at the time. Um, you know, the, the little book blocks are all Halloween-y and you can choose which one you want for a limited time. And so that's fun for kids too, because then their avatar is not the same every time. And those are called book blocks, like I previously mentioned. So when you log in, you just select a book block and have your students select a book block or your teachers, and um, that's how they're going to determine who's the winner. So like on the racing one, you can watch your little book block go. Um, on the little fishing one, you know, it shows which one caught the biggest fish, so you'll know who's who. So these are class passes, and this is a newer thing that Look It has. Um, it's a little way to get rewarded by playing the games or doing the homework because you can't assign homework with Look It. Um, and it levels up the individuals in your class. So each level earns you a new book part. Um, so hair, sunglasses, shoes, a new smile, um, lips, a funny nose, clothing, something like that. And so it's kind of just an incentive to keep playing, to follow up with their homework. Um, and then you can kind of tell, you know, by who's is dressed up the most or who's is most different that um, they've been following up with what they should. You can check stats. So this is really good for teachers. Um, you can see who is kind of struggling with the topics that you're giving. So if you're you know, doing a math week and, you know, the math questions are on there. You can see how many people have failed those questions, what questions they liked, um, what questions they did well with, so the correct answers, um, how many wins, the top five, so the students that maybe need to be pushed a little further, <clears throat> excuse me. So there's all kinds of stats. This is just one of the screens. Um, you can click and go answer by answer. That's the one I like to do because I go over it with the IGA coordinators and what we need to work on next time. Um, so 
even with me, you know, I look and I see, are they struggling with budget questions? Are they struggling with IGA questions? Um, so it's just a really good follow-up. And you can earn and purchase new things as a teacher. So this is not real money. Um, it's Blicket Cash. And so the more you play, the more Blicket games you make, the more homework you assign, you get money, fake money. And you can buy little, um, little Blicket accessories. You can assign enjoyable homework. Um, so <clears throat> you choose a game you want, a game you think they'll be good at, a game you think they'll like. Um, you just click it. You assign homework. You pick what kid you want to assign to. You can assign it to multiple kids. So if you think six of your kids would like the cafe, um, maybe you have some crazy boys that want the Tower of Doom, you know, some, some little shy kids that just want to do the factory. Um, and then, you know, maybe you can assign it for two of them and they can do the crazy kingdom. Um, so it's up to you. You just have to kind of mess with the games and learn them and um, kind of see which, which one would fit the right kid. And it is a free app. Um, about October, November, it was no longer free. And so that was really frustrating for me. Um, and then around Christmas, they made it free again. And so I don't know how long it's going to stay free, but usually it is a free app. Um, if it's not, it's usually not very much. I think it was like $9 a year or something like that. So it's definitely worth it. I would buy it with my own money if I had to. And I'm wondering if you guys wanted to play a game with me and kind of see how it works. Absolutely. That game. <clears throat> I have one that I've used for a couple of years and it's a hit every time. It's so much fun. Um, but I went through it last week and I edited it and added some new questions and stuff in case somebody logged on that had played it before. And so it's a newer game. That's super fun. So I'm an artist. Um, I paint oil paints and do photography for fun. And so I made this from an artist's eye. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. And we're gonna race since that's the funnest one to watch. Okay, so on whatever device you're on, go ahead and log in. Let me share my screen. Go ahead and log in to blickit.com, play.blickit.com, sorry, and put in this code and it'll show me when you're logged in. If you have any struggles, let me know. Hey, Tessa, then. Oh, that's a cute little rabbit. <laughs> I like um, that you can change it while you're waiting. Can you? I didn't know that. Yeah, you can change your little animal. That's good or to your know. Your look block. Okay, sorry. I am trying to figure out where to plug in the code. So if you go to play.blickit.com, okay. it should say join a game, I think. What if I logged in? Um, so I think you just have to go to the home page. Okay, I am to create. Oh, play. Maybe I need to play. Okay. Oh, here we are. Right, what is it? 214-6103. Sorry. Oh, that, I made that way overcomplicated. I apologize. <laughs> That's okay. 
I, I, it's hard for me to help on that side because I'm always on this side. So I don't know what it looks like on the joiner side. Oh, well, I'm picking an animal. I like the little seal. Me too. That's <laughs> cute. Uh, I think Tessa has a walrus. Is that a walrus? I think so. Yeah. I just, just like this little test. All right. Are we ready? I think so. Okay. So <clears throat> just pick what you think the picture is. There's 30 questions. Just do your best. And I will let you know who is in the lead. Feel free to talk throughout. This can be interactive. We're going to have this elevator music in the background. You guys are neck and neck. Are you right there with each other? Tess is in the lead. Oh, April's in the lead. <laughs> he jumped over. Now you guys are neck and neck again. Oh, no. They're with each other. April, you're in the lead. Up the good work. Come on, Tessa. Tessa's catching up. He caught you, April. You guys are halfway there. You're at the halfway mark. Oops. Hopped in the lead again. April's in the lead. Tess is right on her tail. We're almost there. Almost done. And congratulations, April. Oh, oh my gosh, that was that was so much fun. It's fun watching. You guys are neck and neck for a long time. Well, and I had myself muted, um, but I was I was like, I'm frozen. <laughs> <laughs> so if you go here to report, can you guys still see my screen? Yes. Yes. That's something I really like. So 88% of the questions you all got correct. So like as a teacher, I'd be like, is that test too easy? If the average was an 88, do I need to make those questions harder? Or are they just doing really well? Um, and so it was 52 questions correct and seven incorrect. So between you two, you only got seven incorrect, which is really awesome. Um, I think the last time I played this, it was like 50%. So you guys are super good at that. And then you can go child by child. So April Frost got 94% correct. Tessa got 82, 29 right, and two wrong. Um, if you get Blicket Plus, you can look even more into the stats and see which ones were wrong. 
but I don't have look at plus. And then um, for the detailed game reports for all the kids, you can upgrade as well. But this is a lot of information free, um, I think. You can have multiple sets. So I have the fiscal IG processes training we keep updating um, for our monthly trainings. And then I have this set and I had another one, but I deleted it because I hadn't used it in a very long time. You can discover pre-made sets as shown in the PowerPoint. Um, if you guys are doing a science week in your class or something like that, you can go to Sea Animals and you can assign this game to your kids. Um, this is for little kids, obviously. So like, you know what animal is this? Um, the history, it shows when you played what, so you're not replaying the same games over and over again. Here's your homework you can assign. Um, I've actually assigned a couple things. And then here's to play. So this is um, what April clicked on to join. So this is where you'll have your kids join. You just click the play button and then settings. So you can go in here and change your name, Mrs. whatever, um, your profile is where you can upgrade. And then down here is your stats. So any custom books that you buy with your little cash, um, you know, this is just your personal stats, not your kids' stats. Here's the little books you can win by getting the, the play points and you can sell them for points too. And here's a free one. The market where you can buy little packs for your kids like as a reward, and then the news. So it's the winter holiday update still right now. Um, and so it's telling you everything that includes. And that's it. Do you guys have any questions for me? Do not, and that was really fun. It's and so I, fun. Love, I love that you're using it for the, um, IGA coordinators, what a, that's really smart, Hannah. Yeah, they really like it. So every month we go over a certain thing, like, you know, one month we'll go over account codes and one month we'll go over GL reports. And so we make a book it and it's questions over what we went over the previous week. And so book it's a really easy way to do that because, you know, 20, 30 questions is the max really, where you're just playing a game for 10 minutes, you know? Um, and so it's really perfect for what we're doing there. That That's really a creative way of utilizing that for adults, um, not just students. So I appreciate that for our meetings and appreciate the time that you spend putting those games together because they're yeah. so much fun. I appreciate you both playing with me. I'm glad that you were here, Tessa, so we could do that. Yes. It was so much fun. I love I love that game. Like it's just, I love that you can change it for your students and all of the feedback that it gives you for even under like the free stuff. That's awesome. Oh, I know. It gives you a ton of feedback. And then as a team, we're able to go through and be like, oh, we all kind of struggle with that. So let's go over account codes again. You know, so as a teacher, you can do the exact same thing, but even free, it has so many things you can use. So I really love this app. I've used it for years as you know, as a coordinator. So I can't imagine how often I would use it as a teacher. <clears throat> well, if there's nothing else, um, I'll let you guys go. I just wanna thank you again for hopping on and making this a fun morning with me. Thanks so much for presenting, that was great. Thanks. Thank you, Hannah, I appreciate, appreciate you. You too. Bye.